text each other for probably about three months and talked about learning about each other and and uh, she was looking to come to America and I was looking for someone to come to America. Philip Lowry met a woman on an online dating site when they began texting. She lived in Ghana. After several months, they decided they would get married. He began sending money for visas, passports, and clearance fees when she said she became sick. Now she has a problem with malaria and is having kidney problems, so had to pay for a transplant. After he sent the money, he then tried reaching out to her. She stopped returning his emails, stopped returning his phone calls. Postal inspectors call this a romance scam where con men pose on dating sites to lure in victims. In all, Phillips sent more than $250,000, but the scam didn't end there. And he had received several phone calls claiming that he had won the lottery. Inspectors say this is common. Con men often share victims' information. If they have your personal information, if they have your cell phone number, they may call you again um, trying to get you involved in some additional scam. Philip was told he won $4 million. All he needed to do was pay the fees. There's no legitimate lottery where you have to pay any type of associated fees in order to collect on your winnings. He lost even more money until postal inspectors were tipped off by the amount of priority envelopes he was sending out. Postal inspectors say Philip learned a valuable lesson. Be very cautious um, about these dating sites, for one. Um, don't give them any of your personal information. Um, and you know, you want to meet that person in person.